Yo, what's up, guys? Hey, welcome back to the channel. Yo, man, if y'all new here, y'all know what I do. You know what I'm saying? Uh, well, I guess if you're new, you don't know what I do. But if you're new and you're looking into the radiology tech career, just any medical career in general, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, man. It's free game. My day ones already know what I'm about. You know what I'm saying? I'm here to help. And uh, I want you to make the best decision for you guys, not just for you right now, but for you in the future. So if you have a granddaughter, a niece, or yourself, um, just share the video. Share the video to them. Let them know. Let them look to my channel. Um, all I do is just provide the inside information on amazing careers you can do uh, in a medical field, especially x-ray. So I want to address a question that everybody's always asking me on my on my you know um, videos, and they're like, oh, Juan, man, is is AI gonna take over radiology or X-rays? <sighs> everybody's always scared of that, and I'm here to tell you guys, no, it's not going to to take over our job, at least not in our lifetime. We do too much, do we do too much work and too many different things for AI just to jump in and take our job from one overnight or not even 20, 30 years. It's gonna take like a hundred years, if that. So don't worry. But I will tell you, if you stay to the end, I will tell you what AI will take over and it's being done right now as we speak already in certain countries. So stay tuned for that, okay? So the number one part that AI wouldn't take over is because of that, what I just mentioned. You know, we do too much. We do too much from ER cases to floral cases to OR cases to board, to portable cases. It's just too much, you know, greeting patients, you know, um, showing them where certain areas of the hospital is at, you know, things of that nature. We, we as technologists do a lot, you know, that honestly that we don't really get recognized for, you know. Um, so, you know, AI for them to take over like that, it, it'll, it'll be... I'm not saying it's impossible, but just not in our lifetime. Too expensive. Um, and then to program AI to do every single thing that we do, I honestly think it's impossible. So don't worry about that. The second reason I say, you know, that AI is not going to take over in our lifetime because of the fact that OR cases, C-arm cases, you know how hard, you know how heavy a C-arm is? For one thing now, in my brain, you know, or in other people's brain, you know, or however AI works, you know, um, if they build an AI robot, you know, do you think that they can really push, are they going to be fast enough, like, like humans to sit there and push the C-arm, angle it the way the doctor, you know, wants it? If the doctor already yells at us that we're pretty fast, can you imagine what it would do to an AI machine? Like, surgeons will be so, like, stressed out. They're already stressed. So them here, they're here talking to a machine for demands on angle this or do this or pull out, don't, you know, I don't need you type thing. Now, like I said, you know, AI is a super amazing software that is coming out now. But for them to do what we do is it's impossible. You know, it's just we do too much, like I said, um, you know, so I wouldn't even worry about that. The third thing is that, you know, we do a, a physically demanding job you know it's not just oh we just press a button no it's not that we had to push the portables up to the patient's room we had to physically some some patients are dead weight you know we had to push the we had to help them push a cassette behind their back do an x-ray or what if it's an abdomen you know we had to like roll them push the cassette in roll them back it's a, it's a lot of physical work um so i don't think an ai machine is going to do all that you know and can you imagine the nurses upstairs being like, oh, you know, a AI thing is gonna go up there to do a, a patient or an X-ray on a certain patient. Like they, like nurses already have like five or six patients to take care of. Do you really think they're gonna wanna sit there and pull and do all this and wait for the machine to get there and while the patient's uncomfortable with this hard board behind his back being like, oh, and what if, the machine, what if the AI machine gets stuck in the elevator or what if it starts working? What if somebody didn't charge it and is uncharged? Like, there's so many things that can go wrong, you know? So, um, like I said, I, that there's no way that's going to happen in our lifetime, like I said. Um, now, one thing that it can, and it has already been proven to kind of take over is in interpreting images, you know, um, helping a radiologist read, because a radiologist has a lot in their plate. You know, you have, you know, depends what hospital you work at, you have, you know, two maybe one radiologist per hospital 
and they have to read all the MRIs, all the ultrasounds, all the x-rays, all the mammals, all the CTs, all the nuclear meds. Like, it's a lot. They, have, they, they deal with a lot, you know. So now they're bringing AI to help the radiologists read the exams. And they're actually being pretty accurate. I think they're being used in the UK mostly right now. Um, I think Canada's trying to, like, put their toes in it. Um, again, it's another, it's a liability, you know, so our insurance company is going to want to, if they make a mistake, because their insurance company is going to want to reimburse, are they going to want to reimburse the hospitals? So this AI thing's a lot to deal with, a lot to, to work out on before you can really um, bring them into human contact, into human interaction, especially in the medical field. Um, so again, guys, I would not worry about AI. Go do your thing, follow your dream. Um, radiology is a great career. You can always grow and uh, don't be nervous. All right. Yeah, I got it. Thanks for watching. I already know. Stay tuned. Stay tuned to the next one.